We're out of buzz. Happy New Year's. For the Chinese listeners, it's the new Chinese New Year. It sure is. Yes, it is Chinese New Year. Uh, were we doing anything big down in Chinatown today? Yeah, there's parade going on in Chinatown. You saw the dragons on the sticks and everything. Right. Big goings on. So uh, we thought we'd uh, find out exactly what happens with Chinese New Year. We have Dr. Kim on the line right now. Dr. Kim, you're on the air. How are you today? Hi, Dr. Kim. Hello. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you, Dr. Kim. Uh, tell you. us some things about Chinese New Year that we don't understand. I never understood how you did the the year of different animals. I I never understand either. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> okay, so what is this the New Year of? This is your uh, New Year of hers. Of what? Hers. 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 Uh, it's uh, his and hers. Oh, no. Oh, horse. horse. It's not or oh, yes. O-R-S-E. The year of the horse. That's yes. right. Uh-huh. Okay. I see. So a lot of power this year, Fezzi. If you're born under the year of the horse sign. But be very careful with it. And also celebrating and thanksgiving and thanksgiving to the ancestors, thank- thanksgiving God, thanks to heaven. And say hello to, uh, to say good wishes to as many people as possible because they are coming back to you. So if you haven't done it today, you still have three hours. I to- say, so if you say good wishes, if I say Fezzi, mm-hmm. good wishes... That means I'll also be getting good wishes. That's right. And oh, nice. You, yes. The more, the better. Do not say any foul languages. Do not use any foul words. Like the F word? Use only good words that, in, that bring good fortune. So you wouldn't say the F word today? No, you won't. Or the C word? No, too late. Or the D- You've got about F- three hours. Right. Okay. So what would I say if I was with a woman with, with you? I would say, would you like to see my D? Could I use that? Would you like to see my D? Or could I look to see something along those lines that would just be using the initials? Right. Well, I don't have a particular suggestion. I think you can do it. (laughs) Right. You have pretty good choices. Can I finger your A? You know, I would just try to get around it that way, right? In China. Without saying the foul word. Right. That'll bring the bad luck. Right, Dr. Kim? Uh, It's up to you. Right. Now, you're part of, uh, from what part of China? No, actually, I'm not from China. I'm from Korea. Oh, from Korea. Uh Uh-huh. Oh, okay. So, could we use the foul language there? No, you won't. Actually, this is the day that, right. that's the tone for the year. Right. So you, you, you know, unless you really want to do that, it's up to you if you want to have the... You never use foul language? Ever? Uh, try not to. All right, what do you call your naughty bits then, your privates? What uh, would be... I don't think this is for private uh, conversation. Right, but you do have words for them there, right? Rarely. Rarely. Rarely, okay. Only if they hurt. All right, yeah, well, we uh, a doctor. could we uh, take some calls for you, Dr. Kim? Sure. All right. Uh, the number is 877-692-1027. We have Dr. Kim. And, Doctor, you're a, a lovely lady, too. We're learning a lot tonight. We really appreciate it. Dr. Kim's website, yinyangamerica.com. Yeah. Okay. All right, we're going to uh, take some, uh, some calls for you. Is that all right, Dr. Kim? Sure. Okay, great, because people are very interested in right. this. All right, uh, first call... Is Iris. Iris, you're on the uh, Ron and Fez show. Uh, hello, Iris. You're on with Dr. Kim. Hello, Dr. Kim. Hello. Happy Year of the Whore. It's a wonderful new year. Now, is it the year of the whore? Is horse. that right? A horse. What's the year, Doctor? H O R S E. Right. Year of the horse. Horse. Doctor, I'm calling from Bay Ridge, Brooklyn. And I notice a lot of the Jews enjoy Chinese food. Oh, that's true. Can I hear you? Yes. It is good to hear you. I'm sorry, I cannot understand that. Welcome to America. It's much good good. Uh, Are you enjoying yourself? Dr. Kim? Yes. Do you understand me? I don't understand you. My husband was in Korea. In the 50s. Really? And came back with an itch that I picked up. Oh, my goodness. You caught that itch? Yes. Wow. And is there like an herbal uh, medicine that you use in Korea, doctor? Any idea about that, Dr. Kim? No, I don't. Well, you're doing a wonderful job. Thank you so much, doctor. Thank you. Okay. You have a happy, like a happy New Year. Happy New Year. 
Uh, see, people are excited. You just, so you don't have to be. Trying. We love you long time. Mm-hmm. I'll hang up now to listen to the answer. About the edge. Okay, so you don't have to be Chinese to celebrate Chinese New Year, do you, Dr. Kim? No, you don't. You don't. Everyone can partake in this. We all can. It's for all of us. It's nice when you can share the traditions that way. Doctor, how does an abacus work and why? I'll hang up to listen to the answer. Dr. Kim? Yes? Did you have an answer for that? No, actually, I have a hard time understanding. That's because I'm Jewish from... Bay Ridge, Brooklyn. Right. Normally I do the new music use for the Jews. But this is more like what gets the chinks to think, really, when you think about it. I'll hang up and listen to the answer. Okay, Iris is going to hang up and listen to the answer. Let's uh, take another call, shall we, Fuzz? Excuse me, I think uh, we were out of time because we were talking about 10 minutes. I think it's uh, time is up. Al, it's only a 10-minute interview we had? No, I asked her uh, at least 20 minutes, 20, 25 minutes, tops. I will right, take a couple more calls, okay, Dr. Kim? Uh, I'm afraid not. Why? Sorry about that. I've Someone got other obligations tonight because it's not on your year. Ah, I see. So, uh, it's, uh, well, here's Andre. Andre, you're on the uh, Ron and Fez show. Hello? Hello, Andre. Hello, this is Dr. Kim. Yes, Dr. Kim is with you. I was wondering about something. What's that? Why does it have to be a year of the snake? Why? Dr. Kim, when is the year of the snake? I don't know. You know, snakes frighten a lot of people. I am a big man. Seven foot four, five hundred, fifty pounds from Grenoble, France. Uh, Andre, if you could stay on the line, we have other callers that would all like to get in because we don't have much time. Here is also Kenny Allen. Kenny Allen, you're on uh, Ron and Fez. Hello, Kenny Allen. You're on with Dr. Kim. You want to pretend yeah. that we're horses or something? Well, it is the year of the horse, right, Dr. Kim? And I'm a robot horse, and you guys are just ponies, and I have laser eye vision. All right, would that ha happen, Dr. Kim? I'm sorry? Laser eye vision for horses? A robot horse. I'm not, I'm not a, a robot horse. There are such things as robot horses. Where? In Korea or, just, or China? China. Andre, what do you think? I could be like a big size now. I'm very large, seven foot four, five hundred sixty pounds from Grenoble, France horse. All right, Kenny Allen, and maybe your horse could ride on Andre's horse. Oh! No. No. Why? I'm the main horse. All right. Well, no one rides on me. Is that true, Dr. Kim? You know, I think you can do the show without me because you seem to have a conversation between you uh, and your guest. So I don't think I'm uh, participating. Well, in I think it, so you I are. I mean, in, here's I where feel included, it's so. a round. Wait a minute. I don't want you to feel uh, offended. It's a round no, table. Uh, no, 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 no. Just, and I think Kenny Allen claims that enough some horses are robots. Who can tell I disagree. How they show, uh, Andre yeah. goes the other way. He disagrees. But there's snakes around him. What? I thought it was near the horse. I do not want it to be near the snake. If it's near the snake, you're not going to see me again. What do you think, Kenny Allen? I think that I can eat snakes How? with my robot teeth and robot throat and stomach. Is that possible? Because I'm just totally robot. I would appreciate it. Is that possible, Dr. Kim? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Well, uh, Kenny Allen claims that a robot horse would be able to eat a giant snake with his robot foot and robot stomach, but I, I think he makes things up. Kenny, real snake or robot snake? Robot snake. Even a, a robot snake I can eat, since I'm just pure robot. Right. Is, is that true, Dr. Kim? Well, I'm, if you are ready for a more serious caller, I'll take it out and give answers. Well, okay? well, we'll try to get some more serious callers on. No, actually, I think I have to go, okay? We can Thank add you more so callers. Much for your interest, and um, uh, again, Happy New Year to you all. All right, okay. uh, Andre, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Uh, Kenny right. Allen, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Again, the more the better, so say, uh, say Happy Can New Year. Can I be a robot New Year? The next three hours. We're all robots. All right, are we, uh, Dr. Kim, one last question. Are we indeed all robots? I think we are. Dr. Kim? It's crippling. Dr. Kim.
Well, thanks so much for your interest. And, we enjoyed. Uh, we really enjoyed you. having you on the show tonight. Thank you. Bye-bye. You seem to be a wonderful guest. We have more callers. Thank you. Bye-bye. Good night. All right. Thank you, Dr. Come well, on. She didn't answer my question. My neither, Jenny. These things, well, yeah. these things happen. <sighs> I got zero out of that. Al, you did an awful job with the guest. Yeah, I told her 25 minutes. Did you let her know that we want to know if robot horses would be able to bite through snakes since they have robot teeth and robot stomachs? You know those are important issues to some of your listeners. Stop slurping. I keep thinking it's a snake kissing. It's just Kelly Allen slurping. Al, do you have another guest for us while we have all the people ready to go? Mm. Kenny Allen, I can't believe I'm going to say this, but thanks for calling, and I apologize to you. Uh, what a tell? No. Dr. <laughs> you ought to tell. This time I agree with you. You should I'm tell. Telling. Yes, go tell. All right, I'm telling. Go tell. Andre? I can't decide whether I want to headbutt Dr. Kim, B, chokeslam Dr. Kim, uh -huh. or C, throw her into the corner and then ram my big butt into her to knock the breath out. I feel bad, too. All right. Uh, uh, no less. Andre, we'll uh, snake you later. What? Did you say snake you later? Yeah. I said see you later. Oh. Yeah. Oh. All right. Happy mm. new snake. What? It's not a new snake. I don't like a new snake. I like an old snake. I am not even fond of the robot snakes that were brought up during the conversation tonight. Was that by Dr. Kim or Kenny? I forgot which one brought up robot snakes. Dr. Kim. Yeah. All right. We'll be right back. And be careful of that phone cord. It's really a snake. <laughs> Eight seven seven six nine two one zero two seven. It is the Ron and Fez show. Ron and Fez.